In the previous short tutorial, I showed you how to declare missing values and look at frequencies of variables. I also talked about the variable view um, in SPSS. Remember, um, what you want to do is you're writing syntax is keep all the syntax in one file and make sure that you've saved it. I'm going to save it on the desktop. Try not to save it um, anywhere but the desktop because it's often hard to find otherwise. Then you can upload it somewhere or put it on a USB drive. Remember again that missing values are values that don't mean anything for the analysis. They need to be declared so that SPSS will ignore them. Frequencies give you um, the number of people in each category of a variable and the percentages in each category. Now this, to continue on from where I left off before, the ABNE variable has two categories. If you look at the frequencies again, yes and no. If I wanted to look at this variable over time, first thing I should note is that I want all my analyses to be weighted. The reason is because the survey by itself is not as representative as, of the population as we would like because um, some people you know, don't participate in surveys uh, and those people are actually you know, tend to be different in a variety of ways. One thing, of course, uh, men are less likely to participate in surveys than women. That means that when we weight the data by this variable here, WTSSALL, part of it, what it's doing is um, giving men a larger weight um, in the analysis and women a, a lesser weight because women are already overrepresented. So we're trying to um, readjust our sample to conform to the population. If I run that, it just echoes that command back at me, but then you can see in the lower right-hand corner, it says wait on, meaning that all analyses will now be weighted by WTSSALL. Now if we want to see um, how answers to the ABNE question have changed at all over the last 30 years or so, um, one, we have to think about what kind of statistic we're going to use. Is it going to be percentage or average? Um, in this case, you should note ABNE, um, like other, other variables, it's declared to have a certain, to be a certain type of variable. In this case, nominal. Nominal meaning that there's no order to it. We have to know that when a variable is declared to be nominal, that means actually that um, we can't take the average of it. That can be a problem if uh, we want to use look at the average of the variable over time. Now this is a variable that just has two categories. So maybe the average isn't the best way of looking at the variable. Instead, we want to look at percentages. Um, in each category. One way to do this is to re-code um, the variable because we have, we really want to know what the percentage of people who said yes is or percentage of people who said no over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable equal to 1 for people who say yes and 0 for no. I'm going to use a set of if statements. If ABN equals 1, ABN 2 equals 1, ABN equals 2, ABN 2 equals 0. This is how you write a set of if statements to create a new variable. A, B, N, E, I, A, B, N, E, 2. If I do that, 
do that. Should see that everybody who got a yes on ABNE gets a one on ABNE two, and everyone who got a no on ABNE gets a zero on ABNE two. Why am I creating a new variable that's essentially the same? The reason is because we can do more with a one zero variable than we can with a one and two variable. Um, with the zero one variable, if you take the average of this variable, you can get the percentage of people who are saying yes. If you get the average of one and two variable, you get a number that's basically meaningless. So one zero variables are are valuable and useful, and that's why I'm I'm translating ABNE into ABNE two. Now, whenever you create a new variable, the variable shows up at the bottom of the variable view. And here it is, ABNE. See that it lacks a value lab variable label and value labels. So, what I want to do is change that. I want to give ABNE to a, value, a variable label. It makes sense. The um, question is maybe any if abortion if a woman wants one for any reason. and value labels. If you go down in the variable view and look at ABNE, you can see it has a label. Should abortion be legal if a woman wants one for any reason? And the values are yes and no here. In addition, um, I want to get rid of these decimal places because that doesn't make sense in that case. Now, when I look at the frequencies of ABNE2, I can see that 1 and 0 in addition to the value labels show up. 